ticket sales are steady. Um, they're pacing normal for Reggae on the Hill. I, I, you know, we produced um, Hennessy Artistry in December and we found that since COVID, a lot of persons wait later to buy tickets. I guess they're afraid that something could happen again, right? So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how the ticket sales pick up over the pay week, um, but we expect to have uh, a well-supported event. We didn't anticipate, you know, the, the turnout we had in December. It was a welcome surprise. So we really, we really don't know. I know there, there were a lot of people that were just anticipating um, the festival and purchased their tickets and flew in or flying in for the event without even knowing the, the lineup, to be honest. Um, so I, I, I expect that the excitement is building and that people will, will come out. People miss Reggae on the Hill. We all miss Reggae on the Hill. So I think that it's going to be a day. It's a family fun day. It's a Sunday. People like the energy of Farley Hill, and I think people will be here, especially for the Hill. Vintage, I know it's already sold out. Like, <laughs> Vintage is a, you know, it's a, it's a household name, and we have people like Maxi Priest and Third World, um, Fab Five, that people love, Wendy Aline, you know, so it's, it's a great um, evening. You know, Q is doing their, their thing with, with embracing that night and pushing. So I expect that that also is going to be in interesting. Um, and then we have something that we, we did differently on the beach. Um, we have a themed beach called Bad Like 90s Dance Hall, which was a period in dance hall music that was well loved by everyone, the young and the old alike. Um, we, we chose, um, you know, artists that we thought represented the period um, the best, Mad Cabra and T.O.K. Um, and then we, we fused that with, you know, some of the upcoming artists that, you know, the younger generation identify with. So we are saying they're bad like 90s dance hall. They're not from the period, but they, the energy is the same. So we have a fantastic singer named Byron Messia, who is upcoming um, and new. And we have a very young talent named Sosa. But we always like to, you know, kind of introduce new talent and, and use our platform to kind of embrace culture. So we have a lot going on. We cannot forget Chief Din, who's doing amazing things um, for Barbados all over the world. So Chief Din would be there and Lead Pipe and, and, and Sadis as well as a whole cast of DJs and possible surprise guests.